Hello. So first of all, I want to say good job on getting that quick start guide done. That is amazing. Um, in the email, you should have had attached this uh, PDF. It's a Thrive New Coach No Matter What. So you can go ahead and check off the Thrive Quick Start form. Um, you can print this out or you can just kind of open it up and look at it. So you do have this in there. And this is kind of what you, the main things as a new coach that you're going to be focusing on at first. Now, I have to let you know there is so much in this business and there's a lot of concurrent things. There are, you know, the parts that are learning about the Beachbody business. And you did a lot of that in the quick start, but there's a million strategies and all this kind of stuff. But if we burden you down too much with those, um, like income strategies and that kind of thing, it's going to keep you from actually doing the behaviors that you need. And then there's the art of, uh, you know, speaking to people and asking people questions and finding out their goals and inviting them and kind of the art of posting social media things and um, how to let people to get to know you and who your main um, niche market is. And there's so much to consider. And so first one I'm going to tell you is there's just no way, good way to learn it all at once. And so all you have to do is be committed to learning a little bit each day. And I am trying to break down the behaviors into long lasting behaviors that I kind of learned the hard way as a coach. I didn't really have a lot of training. And so what I did is I just would learn a ton, a ton, a ton. And then I had these bare basics that I'm going to share with you. And so I just did that and I did great my first couple months. And then I kind of decided, oh, well, there's all these other shiny things and I could be working on these projects and doing this and that. And my business started to slow down because I wasn't focusing on the basics. So I'm going to teach you the basics and give you a really firm, good foundation so that then we'll, we're going to build. So never feel like, oh, I didn't know this or I didn't know that. No, this is just a journey. It's going to be overwhelming at first because there's just a lot of information to know and you're not going to be able to be perfect at it. Um, my first like months of posting were now I look back and I'm like, oh, that was really bad, but that's okay because you have to adopt a, a mentality of failing forward and being okay with that because that is what makes us better humans. Honestly, is failing forward. We are not perfect. Nobody's perfect. And so we're not perfect. So if we try to protect that, like image of perfection. Let me just tell you, people know you're not perfect. People know that I am not perfect for sure. And um, so I've kind of like made it known, like I fail forward. That's what I do. I want to grow. And so I think that's kind of a good mentality to take on and almost kind of a good public attitude to have is, you know what? I am trying new things. I'm trying hard things. I'm taking risks. I would love your support, but I'm okay with failing forward. Okay. So look at Let's look at this checklist and I'm going to take you on to the next step. So I, I guess right now I'm going to tell you the next couple of steps, but don't worry too much about them um, because we're going to break it down one by one. So the next step is to look over this um, new coach no matter what. So the quick start you did. Scrum, I'm about to explain that. That's your next step um, in a week of check-ins. Starting now, I want you to read a personal development book. I cannot emphasize personal development, business development books, or audiobooks. I use the audio form a lot. I cannot overemphasize that enough. And I get a lot of mine off of iTunes or Audible. And also, you can go into your library's website and find what app they use for their um audiobooks and so almost every library that I know of has an app that you download on your phone and then you put in your library card number and they have a great library of audiobooks. Then I want you to choose one of the three to start with. GoPro, which is about network marketing, really inspiring, really good, really straightforward, good advice, helps with mindset. It's very, very good. Compound Effect, one of the best, maybe the best book I've ever read can apply to anything in life. Um, and how to rock your network marketing business. How to rock your network marketing business is a little, it's a lot more network marketing. And it's um, not exactly how we do everything in B2B, 
Beachbody, like it's a little bit more hardcore network marketing, but it's kind of a good dose of strong medicine, like, okay, let me think through some of these ideas. Um, but I, I suggest starting with GoPro or Compound Effect first. Um, okay, and then after you get through this scrum and one week of check-ins that I'm going to explain, the next step would be going on to a seven-day quick uh, kickstart group that we will be holding as a kind of community-led training with other new coaches. Um, uh, and that will you'll you'll have access to that once you finish this the next step that I'm going to explain a little bit. So let's look at your first goal. So your first goal is to help three people with a challenge pack, which will um, help you get Success Club 5 or 6 in the first month. So that's goal number one, three people to sign up with a challenge pack. They can sign up as a coach, as a discount coach, which is the coach link. It just means that they're signing up as a coach not to build a business, but to get a discount, or they can sign up as a customer with the challenge pack. So the challenge packs, um, just real quick, again, are... Shakeology, 30 days of Shakeology, and a fitness program. So that's the very basics of what that is. So that's goal number one. And so you want those three people so that they can join our next challenge group. So the first month or two, you will lead a challenge group with me. You will be what's called an apprentice coach. And this gives you time to really work on your training and kind of work behind the scenes with these challengers that you get clients that you get to come in so that you're not overwhelmed by taking on too many responsibilities at once. So um, I have two challenge groups that start each month and I will put in the email when the dates are, but basically the first one of the month is the second Monday and that's run in the, my challenge group, the Beachbody app. And then the second one is the fourth Monday, two weeks after the first one starts and I run that one in Facebook. So you can invite to both of those. And the next goal is, goal number two, is to advance to Emerald Coach in the first month. So an Emerald Coach would mean that you have, you sign up two people as a discount coach. And if you watch the Quick Start movie about signing up a spouse, um, that's not just like, yeah, get somebody, you know, under there. Yes, it is a quick win to have family members sign up. And so I do suggest that you talk to family members about this um, and say something like, hey, I have, you know, really, really enjoyed um, these accountability groups I'm doing and Shakeology. This is what it's done for me. I want to help other people through this coaching, but I'm looking for some first clients, some first testimonies, and that could mean you coming into my challenge groups and working through one of my fitness programs, the nutrition programs to test, or it could just be you replacing your breakfast that you have right now or your lunch you have right now with Shakeology, which is a whole foods um, meal replacement shake. There's nothing weird in it. It's no chemicals. It's just all whole foods and it's going to give you that daily dose of dense nutrition. Um, would you be willing to like learn more about that and consider doing that? Maybe say that to a parent, um, sister, brother, whatever. Um, if you had two people sign up as discount coaches or if you found someone that wanted to already um, become a coach and build a business, then that would get you to Emerald. So you need two coaches to get to Emerald. And they can both be in it just for a discount or they could be business builders. But that both of those goals you want in month one. And they can be concurrent. So if you help three people challenge packs, two or three of those people could be signed up as coaches or discount coaches. Um, and once again, there's no difference in the logistics of signing up a coach or discount coach. It's just what we call some people call them VIP members because they get the discounts but it's that same um, coach link that you're going to send them okay so then we're gonna move on to what you're going to be doing daily as a new coach the vital behaviors are be proof the product works so you're going to work out and use the programs and use portion fix and um, use Shakeology and show that the products work um, you are going to drink Shakeology every day, so work out on Shakeology, okay? And go ahead and post about that. Don't do it in a weird salesy way. Um, with Shakeology, with workouts, you can really use all types of freedom on that too. You can come at it as a, with a teaching posture, like this is what you should do for you know weights. You can say like the, I got these weights at you know Walmart. They were this price. You can do a video of you doing you know chopped up different 
parts of your exercise program. You can do a sweaty selfie, mix it up. With Shakeology, I like to think of it as Shakeology lifestyle post. So imag uh, imagine you're in a magazine. We're not the ad section. We're that section where it makes you not realize that it's sponsored. Um, so, you know, I've got tropical chicken, grill, iced tea that I, you know, had. So maybe I take a picture and I'm sitting here and I'm on my computer with the tropical chicken grill and a picture's taken and I'm post and who knows what I'm saying, but it's like that product placement kind of thing. Or, you know, maybe I'm um, taking a walk with my kids and I've got my Shakeology and I talk about like what a beautiful day it is and how it's been such a busy day. I just need to get outside. So busy that I didn't get to eat lunch. I fed the kids. I didn't get to lunch. But now it's like I've got my Shakeology and all is right. You know, that kind of thing. Um, just in integrating it into your life instead of trying to sell it a hard sell. Um, you're going to read or listen to a personal development book. I recommend 15 minutes or more a day. But 15 minutes should be a non-negotiable. So I listen to audio books all the time. Sometimes you really need to concentrate on your workout, but sometimes I will put them on if I really know the workout well and it's slow weightlifting, I'll put it on then. I do it in the car all the time. I, I mean, my kind of method is I will put personal development, which can be self-help, like on confidence. It can be on getting over coming adversity. It can be talking to people. Um, it can be, um, there's one called Rich Dad, Poor Dad that I really love. It's just a financial one. Um, there's one called Jab, 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 Right Hook that's about social media. It can, it can be business development. Like I said, compound effect in GoPro, I recommend. But I suggest just imbibing, um, like becoming imbibed in all of those, the, the personal development, but then also maybe sitting down for just like five minutes a day and put on the personal development, either read it or listen to it and write down notes. And then that is a great social media post right there. Um, write down a quote and then you have a talking point. And that's one of the reasons personal development is so good is that it gives us more to talk about. We're more knowledgeable um, in our conversations and the way we go around life. But really, it, it just builds um, uh, confidence and uh, you're gonna have hard times in your business and in your life and you're gonna have something to draw on, basically. You're not going to have to go off and be whiny or fall apart and get depressed because you have this mentorship basically built into this personal development. Okay, so then, and so this is like non-negotiable. You need, these are what you need to do each day. The next is you want to add three new friends on Facebook or Instagram. So that can just be going and finding, I would say, start off finding old elementary school friends, middle school friends, high school friends, college friends, um, friend, people that you know that you just haven't reconnected on Facebook with. Or if you want to do Instagram, you don't even have to know them. Um, if you feel like you're friends with everybody on Facebook, which you probably aren't yet, like that you actually know, you can go in and you can do like kind of a search for um, friends that went to your, you know, like I said, your college or go into a college friend and look at their friends list and, you know, friend request people that way. You want to grow your audience. So if you have 400, I also suggest you write this down the track. If you have 400 friends right now, then make a goal maybe of growing that list if it's by three each day, you know, by like 21 or 20 to 25 each week. And that over time, that is going to really grow. If it's on Instagram, you can go and find people that you know to connect with, or you can go and search out people that just look like you through hashtags and that kind of thing and just like and comment a lot on their feed and follow them and a lot of times they'll follow you back and you can track and see if you've got those new followers. The next thing you want to do is connect or reconnect with three existing friends about life so that's going to be actually reaching out to them. It could be text message, it could be call, it could be direct message, email, whatever and it, it's just getting to know them, reconnecting warming that market, you know, like opening those channels. And so it could be anything from, you know, hey, I saw in your feed that you um, just went to Disney World. How how was it? You know, was it pretty pretty hot? Like, or how was it going with the two-year-old? 
um, I'm a little bit hesitant. Do you have any tips? Just reconnecting that way. Um, or maybe you see on somebody's feed already that they're like saying, oh, I don't want to, I hate swimsuit shopping. Like I've gained 15 pounds. Well, then you reach right out to them and say like, hey, I saw your post on swimsuit shopping and feeling like you gained some weight. I don't know if you'd be interested, but I run these health and fitness accountability groups. I have one that I'm co-leading next Monday. Would if I sent you more information, would you know want to know about it? So that would be that would actually be inviting. Reconnecting, you just want to get to know people. Um, you just want to get to know people. And then inviting, it's kind of what I just said. That would be, I think, a good way to invite people are once you've started reconnecting and talking to them. Again, it's just saying, um, you know, hey, I, I don't know if you've ever thought about this or done this, but I run these health and fitness accountability groups. I'm co-running one on, you know, next Monday. If I sent you more information, would you look over it? I don't know if that is even for you, if you'd even be interested, but if I sent you more information, would you, you know, would you just look over it to see if you'd want to do that? Or it could be like, hey girl, oh my gosh. So I am running, um, I decided to co-lead this health and fitness accountability group that I've been in um, the past month. It's been amazing. I lost 10 pounds or, you know, the women in our group like are so inspirational and I thought of you and I wanted to see if you would be interested in doing that with me next month. If I sent you more information about it, would you look it over? So that's the kind of invite we're talking and we will get way more into all of this um, when we move on to this, um, your next step, which is the kickstart group. Um, but these are the daily behaviors I want you to start now, getting in the habit of. And then um, just uh, posting three times on social media. Um, I would say one time should be about health or fitness. One time should be about something about your life, either your daily life um, or your personality or letting them know, like, and trust you, something about your past, just opening up a little bit. And then that third one, um, could be something that kind of builds your brand. It could be a quote that you got for personal development. It could be, um, you know, something that just shows a little bit more about your style. It could be something fun, you know, a meme, whatever it is. Um, you want to just start to get out there um, in people's, you know, feeds uh, the, a presence and get them kind of used to it. And then check off. You went outside your comfort zone to grow, which you are definitely going to do as a coach. You're definitely going to do that, but you have to be willing to fail forward. Okay, so this is your checklist, and so I want to show you how we are going to implement this in this next step with what I call Scrum. Okay, so you received a link that looks like this, and Scrum is based on a book called Scrum, and it's this whole system of uh, kind of task management for teams, but we kind of are going to use it a little bit differently just for one-on-one. -on -one. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make a copy. So you're going to go to file and then make a copy. And then once you make a copy, you can name it whatever, you know, like Ashley's Thrive New Coach Scrum. Okay, so then then it's your, your own. So I want to explain what this is. So first of all, these values you don't have to pay any attention to them. So if this is like too much, these value things, then don't have to pay attention to them. But basically, they're weighted numbers. Once again, this is based on a book called Scrum. Um, weighted numbers that give kind of a value to the activities so that you can basically measure the speed at which you're going and the efficiency at which you're working. So let's say you have two hours to work each day, one hour, whatever. Um, you, it's kind of this kind of basically like a checklist okay so you would do doing or done which a lot of times I don't even get to the doing so like today I did so first thing first off the first thing I want you to do is I want you to just focus on the pinks okay so for one to three days I want you to just focus on the pinks of course you can go on of course you can go on but I want you to give yourself the excuse and the like mental focus that this if you, especially depending on personality some personalities are like boom I'm just doing it other ones like you need to make sure that you get these basics and you do not overlook them like do not be working on anything else if you haven't worked out Shakeology personal development 
um, checked into your challenge group and done three posts. So this is the pink. So workout. I did that this morning. Shakeology. I did that this morning. I have been listening to a lot of parenting books, but I haven't done my business personal development yet. So I can't put done. Challenge group check-in. I haven't done that yet. So I have, don't check. Post three times. I have done that. So this shows me, okay, you want to go in order as much as you can. You can't always go in order, but as much as you can, the, you want to start kind of this is what your priorities want to, um, should be. You want to start like this. So I know now that I need to listen to 15 minutes of personal development and I need to go to my challenge group So um, and I need to check in with them. So as a coach, I'm going to go and see who posted today and I'm going to give them some love back, comment back, and I'm going to see who asked questions. I'm going to comment back on that. So I'm going to do that for my challenge group. As a challenger or new coach, if you don't have any challengers in there, then you can just go and give the same thing, comment and love to the other people in your group. And if you want to make, go ahead and make your own post, whether it's a, oh, I had a cool idea or, hey, look at this, or just here's my workout, here's my shake. You're going to do that. Once you do that, you're going to check it off, check personal development off. And then I want you to text me for the next one to three days that you get this done and um, just say, pinks, pinks are done. You can say something like that, like the pinks are done, and then you're good, all right? Um, and then once you feel like you have conquered this for one to three days, then you're going to go and you're going to add the blue. So actually, let's, we got these in here. Okay, so every day I erase these because these are my daily to-dos. So then the next one would be, okay, I need to add or greet. I say greet because if you're on Instagram, you already have Instagram, or people are requesting to friend you, then instead of actively actively going out and finding people to add, then what you could do is you could just send them a message and say, hey, I saw you friend requested me or added me. I just wanted to say thanks. I love to be in community with other women that are positive and love health and fitness. You know, do you have any fitness goals or health goals that you're working on? That could be your greeting. If like organically your Instagram feed went from um, like let's say 200 followers to 203 you could be like okay send that message out direct message send that direct message out send that and that could be add otherwise you're gonna go look for people to add look for people who look like you look for people that you would want to be on your coaching team eventually and then you're going to friend request them and then you're gonna X this off then you're gonna go find three people to invest with um, and you could like just be positive and grateful and thankful and happy. You could go and let's say you're in Walmart and you see your Target and you see a picture, sorry, you see a product like a really pretty baby onesie and you remember this, you know, friend or acquaintance is having a baby and it just reminds you of them to take a picture of it and then message it to them and be like, I just saw this in Target, I don't know why, but it made me think of you. Have you started shopping for your new baby girl? Invest. Invest invest you did it okay so then I would want you to for the next one to three days message me and say uh, I did my pinks and my in my blues and if you if you left anything off like I did my pinks and my blues except I didn't do my personal development or did my pinks and my blues except um, I struggled to know what to say for in, invite um, investing then let me know that so I can help you, okay? But that's what you're going to do. You're just going to text. And I am not going to micromanage like this, like long term. This is just this one week to help make sure you understand the importance of these behaviors and to really like make sure you're getting the feedback you need from me before we move, new, uh, move to the next step. So this is not like a for the rest of time thing, although you are welcome for the rest of time to check in like this with me. You are always welcome to do that to keep yourself accountable long term. Okay, so once you feel like you really conquered the behaviors of getting the pinks and the blues done, then you're going to move on to the yellows. And the yellows are kind of a bigger deal, and they're going to take some more like one-on-one -on -one learning. And so the yellows especially, um, you need to get these pinks and blues down for a couple days and then the yellows we need to work on together before you move to the next step which is that week-long um, group training 
which we're really going to show you like more about adding and investing. It's called the five step invite. We're going to show you a lot more about that. So when you're ready to take on the yellows, then I want you to message me and um, in the new coach camp, you can go to photos and albums and it's going to say five step invite scripts and private message scripts. And you can go here and um, you can click on this and um, this is just the title thing, but I'm going to add right here like some intro, um, a link to a bunch of scripts that help you invite, uh, invite people. And so what I want you to do, because really the inviting people and that conversation that goes with it is a real art. And so a lot of times what people do is they'll put it out there that they're a coach that they're leading a challenge group and they'll get lots of interest and then they try to go in and they try to sell really heavy and it doesn't work well. What we need to do is we need to find out people's goals and talk to them. So what I want you to do with the first three invites is let me know like, hey, this person's interested or whatever, or I, I'm about to send this as an invite script to somebody. Uh, I say script, but like a message. It. What do you think? And let me give you some feedback and then if they write back and they say this is what they said then let me give you some feedback so this is three times that I'm gonna do this so this is so I can help you kind of see that art of it um, it's just like a finesse finessing thing that takes a lot of time but I feel like if we can do this one-on-one -on -one with these first three it will help give you a kickstart um, to, to see like little tweaks that maybe you wouldn't have said um, up front, but maybe you'll understand the reasoning. So that's with three three different people. I want you to text me back and forth um, that conversation so I can give you some feedback before you um, send them. Okay, so then the next um, kind of to do is going to be, um, and these are more of like a weekly, we just need these done before we move on to the next step, is I want you to create a challenge group invite post, um, and I'm also going to make an album in, you've probably seen them online, but I'm also going to make an album in the new coach camp um, if you go to photos and then albums to ha have some examples. Um, ah, sorry, I'm trying to get back to where I'm going. Have some examples of, of those, um, of what that challenge group invite post, and it could either be like, I'm a coach announcement, do you want to do this with me? Or it could be I'm inviting you to do this challenge group. And so this is once again an opportunity for one-on-one -on -one coaching where you can send it to me and it, say like, okay, here's a graphic that I came up with. What do you think? Um, and then I can give you some feedback. And then here you can say here's some wording I think I want to use. What do you think? And then I can give you some um, feedback on that. Um, and then next is a value add post. So a value add post is trying to figure out who you think your niche market might be. And honestly, I don't know many people that know it right away. It took me about a year and I still am not sure of it, honestly, but you do your best and you think, okay, who is a little bit behind me in life? Like just a little bit that I could maybe offer some high value to. Don't try to dumb it down, but high value. Like what's something that you really have to offer that's and don't, put anything like don't take anything for granted don't think it doesn't matter if it's something of high value that you know that you're an expert at or you feel like well not many people know this then that could be it or it could just be a recipe picture of a rest uh, food that you took and then a recipe but I want you to create that post with the video or a graphic like a picture or just a picture and then the text and then send that to me and we can talk a little bit about who this is intended to add value to and you know, um, all of that kind of stuff. Send that to me and we'll work on that and getting that just um, done. And then the next thing is on Mondays at 9 p.m. we have a new coach call and we do a scrum check-in, which what we'll do is we will basically just 15 minutes, first 15 minutes of a call as you log in, it's a video call and the whole, you know, crew will just say like, okay, so, you know, for the past week I did really well. I got all of my dailies done. I'm really scared of inviting. I only got one invite. I know I need to get the next two out. Um, if anybody wants to message me and give me some like 
uh, encouragement or anything anything that helped them or any videos that helped them, that would be great. Um, next week, I am determined to kind of make up for last week, and I'm going to send, um, you know, push myself to send six invites out next week. You know, something like that. It's just a quick check-in, and we just go, and it holds us accountable, and it also gets you really energized. So that's the first 15 minutes, and then we will do a training a recording that you'll watch um, the next like 30, 45 minutes, and then the last 15 minutes, so it should be about an hour call, is um, question and answer. So that's when you can get some group coaching on um, whatever you need, and sometimes I will lead that call, and sometimes another leader in our um, Thrive community will lead that call. And then I want you to, and so I want you to let me know that you're there, like, hey, I'm here, first time, check. And then also, I want you to listen to um, live or the podcast recording of any national wake-up call. So you can go to your podcast. Let me show you how to do this. Okay, so if you go to Team Beachbody Coach Podcast and then feed, then this was the last one. It was really good. So you just click on it and it will start playing and it's great. Um, so I want you to listen to one of those. And the live one is at um, 11 a.m. EST. And if you go back to this new coach quick start that I sent, then it says on here, um, the coach call right here. Um, text coach call to this number, and so they will give you a text to remind you. Um, and I would save this link, remember this for reference because there's some important um, information on here. All right. Sorry about our squeaky door. Okay, so then once you've done these yellows, once you've checked in a couple days with the pinks, and then added the blues and said, okay, I've got this, I'm doing this. And then you add the yellows and you get my feedback um, with the yellows. Then you are ready to move on to the, the group, the group training, which is going to be about, about seven days, seven to ten days. Um, that's the next step. And there's, there's going to be, you know, next steps as you go through this journey. But that's the, the way it's going to go. And so I want to show you just real quick before we're done the what some of the other things on this scrum mean if you want to take full advantage so this would be the month's goals um complete the new coach quick start you already did that help three new people um help three people with the challenge pack and get to success club so if you're doing that you can put x you've done that you can put an x advanced to emerald Kickstart training, so that's not that's the next step. So you won't do that yet. And if you have already read a personal development book, you can put an X. You can also keep yourself accountable by screenshotting, shooting this page with your X's and let me know uh, whatever is easiest for you. And then I also made this. You don't have to, but if you want to check your velocity, then you can do something like this. So let's say. Let's say this was my one day. So this is the value. So it'd be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So that would be Monday's total would be 12, my velocity, okay? So then let's say um, so then let's say this is now Thursday. Um, and we, okay, so 5, 10, so 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. So now my velocity on Thursday is 30. So like that's really big. And you can see that these invites to challenge groups and this challenge group invite, like that's huge. That's like going to skyrocket your velocity because that is the behavior that will skyrocket your business. And so that's how we can use these values to measure basically performance and efficiency, but you don't have to do that. If that's too geeky for you, then you totally don't have to do that. And you can just use this as a checklist. And like I said, at the end of each day, I'll just do this, but then with the weeklies and the monthlies, um, then you will keep it X'd. 
Um, and then real quick, I want to show you there is an app. This is Google Drive. So there is an app on your phone, at least if you have an iPhone, called Sheets. And so you're going to just make sure that you're logged into the same email that this was linked to. So here's mine. And so then this just, it syncs together. So I could just go in there and I could just put an X. And so then you see on the computer screen it updated with an X. So they're synced. Um, and then in my Google Drive, um, I can go to um, my drive and then it will be here. So you'll just um, need to make sure, here it is right here, you'll need to make sure that it's labeled something that's, you know, identifiable to you. And I find that by, if you lo have Gmail, you log into Gmail and then you click on this little deal and then I go to Drive and then that brings me here with all these files. Um, so I hope I haven't forgotten anything, but this is your next step. So just check in with me, with Sam. Sam is equally your coach. We do this business equally. Um, I would make more of the videos, um, but he does is just as much text and email support and call support. Um, so our goal is to help you succeed, but to break it down into tangible ways where we are creating a, a really good foundation. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions. And we are so happy. We are so blessed that you are on this journey with us. We really desire to help you and all of our coaches thrive and just lead amazing lives, not just so that you can have awesome lives, but so that you can spread that love, um, that freedom, and um, just everything, that growth, that mentorship. You can then pass that on to other people um, because we can't give what we don't already have. So um, that, that's, that's really our goal is to pay it forward.